my name is Bethany Stahl. I'm a full-time author and illustrator and today we are going to do a tutorial on exporting an ebook from InDesign. If you are looking to learn more about self-publishing, go over to patreon.com slash Bethany Stahl. Here you will be able to chat with me via DM. You will also be able to access documents, behind the scenes videos, tutorials, everything that you can imagine I have over there and I am building resources every single week. So if you're looking for more information or more content or you want to download my templates or you just want to ask me some publishing questions, head over there and you'll be able to find all that good stuff. So let's jump into today's video. Hello friends! Today we are going to learn how to export your book from InDesign to an ebook. Now I've already shown you how you can do this with Kids Kindle Book Creator, but you don't have to use that way. That's only one of the options for you, and it is a good option for those of you who are working directly with a PDF, either from your formatter or whoever has designed your book for you. A lot of you have had questions about that video on if it is still relevant considering that Amazon no longer accepts certain files. However, they do accept that file format still. It is a fixed file format, which means it is still accepted so you can still use Kids Kindle Book Creator and it is something I really love to use. It's pretty self-explanatory and it's a great way to package an ebook. Now, for those of you who have designed it yourself and are working in InDesign and you'd just like to go ahead and export it from here, you can also do that. So what we are going to do is go ahead and go to File and to Export. When we are here, I'm going to rename this to Save the Sky eBook. And down here from the drop down, what I am going to do Instead of pick the Adobe PDF for print, I am going to pick the EPUB fixed layout. Now, in saying this, if you do it this way, you can only ever upload fixed layouts again. You will not be able to do reflowables. I personally do not have a lot of experience with reflowable EPUBs and I am not as comfortable with them so I do recommend and I do personally use the fixed layout so I'm going to go ahead and save this. I want to save all pages and for the cover I do not want it to rasterize my first page. My first page is my title page so I'm going to say um, choose image and then I'm going to choose my file. So right here, I'm going to leave the navigation to none. In spread control, I do want it to be based on document setup. I don't want to change or disable the spreads I currently have. So now I am going to click OK. But there are other settings that you can use. Now for conversion settings, you can change these. So Amazon does charge by the size of your file. So you can theoretically make more money, even by a matter of cents, but it adds up over time if you get your file size smaller. And one of the ways is to start playing with these options uh, if you would like to do that. Okay, so I went ahead and opened this up in Kindle Previewer. This is a really good way that we can simulate what our ebook will look like. As you can see, everything has gone through perfectly and it looks great. So that is all you need to do to save it from InDesign. Of course, you can always use the Kindle Kids Book Creator if you struggle with this step. Sometimes it gets a little funny when you're exporting to feel like you did it right or perhaps you're questioning if it's going to turn out right. I do always recommend looking at any ebook with the Kindle Previewer. It's free to download. So I hope this has helped and given you another way that you can easily export an ebook and go ahead and publish it and you will be good to go. Again, I really hope this video has helped and I will see you all next time.